Have you ever wondered how many soldiers Russia has deployed in Ukraine? According to a recent report, the Kremlin is seeking to recruit as many as 400,000 contract soldiers this year to bolster its ranks as it digs in for a long fight. The report also suggests that Russia has dialed back plans for a further offensive in Ukraine this spring after failing to gain much ground and will instead focus on blunting a new push by Kiev's forces. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the situation and explore what this means for the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. The situation in Ukraine remains tense, with reports suggesting that Russia may be preparing to add up to 400,000 more soldiers to its already sizable military presence in the region. This comes as the Kremlin is said to have scaled back its plans for a further offensive in the spring, after failing to make significant gains on the ground. Instead, it appears that the focus will be on countering any new push by Ukrainian forces, which are expected to launch a major counteroffensive in the coming months. The ambitious recruiting campaign to sign up contract soldiers would allow Russia to replenish its ranks without resorting to another forced mobilization of reservists, which shook public confidence and triggered an exodus of as many as a million Russians from the country last fall. Despite the challenges, Putin has expressed confidence that Russia will be able to outlast Ukraine's supporters in the US and Europe, betting that if his forces are able to prevent another breakthrough by Ukrainian T. Roops in the coming months, backing for Kiev will weaken. However, the goal of attracting 400,000 contract soldiers this year may be unrealistic, according to some experts. While regional officials have been given quotas for recruiting and are issuing summonses to potential volunteers, the number of new volunteer recruits this year has been running behind the level of previous years. This could make it difficult for Russia to launch another large push into Ukraine unless it moves towards a wartime economy and martial law. The Kremlin, however, is rapper. Tedly not yet ready to take such steps, especially with elections coming up next spring in which Putin is expected to seek a fifth term. The recruitment campaign planned by the Kremlin is reportedly aimed at signing up contract soldiers to avoid another forced mobilization of reservists, which had a significant impact on public confidence in the past. As many as a million Russians reportedly fled the country during the last forced mobilization. This year, the Kremlin is seeking to sign up as many as 400,000 contract soldiers to prepare for a long fight in Ukraine. The move to avoid another forced mobilization could also be a tactic to maintain the appearance of a strong, capable military force to the Russian public. Experts have noted that the Kremlin is seeking to present a confident image to its citizens while also avoiding the negative consequences of a forced mobilization. However, some experts have raised concerns about the quality of the recruits that the Kremlin may be able to attract through this campaign. The Russian military has struggled with low morale and a lack of resources in recent years, which could make it challenging to attract high-quality recruits. Despite these challenges, the Kremlin is reportedly moving forward with its recruitment campaign, seeking to bolster its military capabilities in preparation for a potential escalation of the conflict in Ukraine. However, the move to recruit 400,000 more soldiers is not without its challenges. Firstly, the cost of such a massive recruitment drive would be significant, putting a strain on the Russian economy that is already facing sanctions. Additionally, it may be difficult to find such a large number of willing and qualified soldiers, especially considering the current low morale of the Russian military. Furthermore, Putin's confidence in outlasting Ukraine supporters in the US and Europe may be misplaced. The international community has already imposed economic sanctions on Russia, and there is growing pressure for even tougher measures if the conflict in Ukraine continues. Despite these challenges, Putin and his hardline security officials remain committed to the fight. They view it as existential, and with Putin's ear, they may continue to push for more military action in Ukraine.
It remains to be seen how the situation will unfold, but the recruitment of 400,000 more soldiers indicates that the conflict is far from over. China's public backing of Putin may prove to be a crucial element in the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. China is a major power and has often been viewed as a potential counterweight to the U.S.-led alliance opposing Russia. The visit by Xi Jinping and the subsequent show of support could give Russia the confidence it needs to continue its aggressive actions in Ukraine. Furthermore, China's support could also give Putin more leverage in any potential negotiations with the West. However, it is imper. Tan to note that China has its own interests in Ukraine and is unlikely to risk its own relationship with the West by fully supporting Russia's actions. According to sources, Ukraine's counteroffensive is expected to be launched soon, and the Ukrainian troops are getting ready with the latest weapons and training received from Europe and the US. The Ukrainian government is confident that the counteroffensive will help push back Russian backed separatists and provide much needed relief to the besieged regions. However, it is unclear how the Kremlin will react to this new development and whether it will lead to further escalation or negotiations. To end the conflict, recruiting 400,000 contract soldiers this year may prove to be a significant challenge for the Kremlin as some officials have expressed doubt about the feasibility of this goal. This number is equivalent to the total number of professional troops Russia had before the start of the invasion in February 2022. Moreover, the Kremlin's efforts to improve the treatment of its troops may not be enough to attract new recruits, given the growing public opposition to the war and the worsening economic co. Conditions in Russia as a result, the Kremlin may need to rely on conscription again, which could further undermine public support for the war effort. That brings us to the end of today's video. The situation in Ukraine remains tense as Russia continues to amass its forces along the border. The report of a potential recruitment campaign to add 400,000 more Russian soldiers to the conflict raises concerns about the escalation of violence. It is important for all parties involved to find a peaceful solution to this conflict and avoid further loss of life. As always, we will keep you updated on any new developments. Thank you for watching, and Ma. Why peace and blessings be upon all those affected by this conflict? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below and subscribe to our channel for more updates.